Title, Jordan Peterson's Stand on Women's Sports, Balancing Fairness and Inclusivity Introduction, Women's involvement in sports has come a long way, with a focus on equal opportunities and broadening the horizons of female athletes. However, discussions surrounding trans women's participation in women's sports have sparked debates regarding fairness, biological advantages, and the protection of women's rights. One prominent figure, Jordan Peterson, has voiced concerns regarding the potential impact of these developments on female athletes. This essay aims to provide an objective analysis of Peterson's stand on women's sports, highlighting the issues he raises while also considering the perspectives of inclusivity and fairness. Body 1. Equality and Biological Differences Jordan Peterson argues that focusing solely on equality may neglect the inherent biological differences between males and females. He suggests that biological advantages, such as muscle mass, bone density, and testosterone levels, can have a significant impact on athletic performance. As a result, allowing trans women, who have gone through male puberty, to compete against cisgender women may lead to an imbalance and unfair competition. 2. Protecting female athletes' rights. Peterson contends that maintaining fair competition in women's sports is crucial for female athletes, who have historically faced discrimination and experienced limited opportunities. He argues that forcing cisgender women to compete against opponents with biological advantages could undermine their chances of success and discourage them from pursuing athletics. Peterson's concern stems from the principle of fair competition and the importance of creating equal opportunities for all female athletes. 3. Alternative Solutions While Peterson raises valid concerns, some critics argue that excluding trans women from women's sports can perpetuate discrimination and further marginalize a vulnerable community. To foster inclusivity, alternative solutions have been proposed, such as creating separate categories based on hormone levels or exploring transgender-specific divisions. These solutions aim to address the concerns of fairness while ensuring that transgender individuals can participate in sports. 4. Case-by-case -case analysis. One challenge lies in the differences between individual transgender athletes. Some individuals may have transitioned at a young age, never experiencing male puberty, while others may have transitioned later in life after their body has undergone significant changes. Peterson urges a case-by-case -case analysis and considering the impact of testosterone reduction therapy, the timing of transition, and other relevant factors in making informed decisions about participation. 5. Dialogue and Research Peterson emphasizes the necessity of open dialogue and extensive research to determine the most equitable practices for both cisgender and transgender athletes.